if on your daily walk through your local neighborhood, you spot a little red wagon filled to the brim with adventures. Four, four thousand dollars worth of books. Ooh, wow. Yeah. Stop where you are, pick up a book, and share a laugh with Justin Rudd. Awesome. <laughs> I didn't know you. Did because that. you just found a neighborhood classic. I love this place. So I put the wagon on my front lawn with some books in it, and people bring books, people take books, and it is a resource for people to get free books. Yes, it's here every day. This red Radio Flyer wagon is a real page turner in many people's lives. I come back to this library frequently because I've been doing a lot of reading, especially during the pandemic. So I read, you know, a few books a week. It just makes me happy that the books aren't being wasted. People bring books all the time. Mm -hmm. Always new books here. It may come as a surprise to you that the most powerful stories come not from these pages, but from the wagon's namesake. Riley was my first or second English bulldog, and when Riley was older, his legs didn't work so well, so I uh, got this wagon so that I could put him in the wagon and I could walk to the nearby business district and have coffee or have lunch and take Riley along with me. You know, when Riley's Red Wagon Book Swap was created, um, it, it, you know, I, I, I wish that my dogs could always be with me forever, but it's just a, a, a fact that uh, animals and people uh, were only put on earth for a, a shorter amount of time. And when Riley passed away, uh, I wanted to carry on uh, the memory or the legacy. And I, in honor of him, it's called Riley's Red Wagon Book Swap. And I believe that second chances are a, a great thing in this life, um, new opportunities, and I like to take advantage of those. And despite um, my dog's uh, passing, um, the wagon is here and the wagon is what's going to live on and on. His best friend, Riley, is the inspiration behind the station you can carry on their legacy. Something good can come out of it. And we've made the best of those situations and created the Red Wagon Book Swap. For Justin, it only took a small red wagon to turn his loss into a benefit for everyone. There's a silver lining to the sadness that you have from losing a pet. But if you can honor them and know that you're nurturing people, then you're being nurtured by the love that you had for that pet. That's the way I see it anyway. Whether it's a paw print on his driveway or a paw print on his heart, their story is set in stone. And that's a love you can't find on the page. It, it still hurts when you think about uh, your animal passing, but knowing that um, you're doing something good or something good has come because of that. Kimberly um, Blum. That just makes my heart, my heart sing. CB TV.